Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my January favorites. Um, this month I am showing some different products that are beauty related, skincare related, hair, um, and a couple of things that are non beauty related as well. So to start off, I'm going to start with my non beauty related item. And the first thing that I'm using for the month of January that's my absolute favorite are my new mittens. I got these mittens at Boss Cobbs. If any of you are not familiar with Boss Cobbs, it's similar to a Macy's or like a Bonton. Um, what they are that makes these so unique is they are a glove. And then on the back here, there's like a little button. And you can actually unbutton the mitten. And you can cover your fingers so it makes little mittens. Um, so I think these are just actually super, super cute. And originally I think they were $20. And I actually got them on sale for half off. So I absolutely love these. They're super warm and comfortable. And they have a really nice lining inside. It's kind of fleecy. The next item that I'm going to show you is a skincare item. And everyone is probably using something very similar to this um, because it is January and it's super dry out and cold. Um, this is the Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion, and it says 25% more free. I got this at Walmart, and I believe it was around three dollars. It smells really good. It's got like a fresh, it's got like a fresh fragrance to it. It just says heals and softens, extra dry moisturizer with vitamin three, and that's all it says. And there, the back has just got like some information about it. Um, Actually, I just remembered, I got this at the grocery store when I was waiting in line for a prescription, and I think it was on sale with my shopper's card for about $2. Next, I'll move on to beauty items, and then as normal, at the end of the video, I will do my lip product of the month and my favorite handbag of the month. So the first beauty item that I have is the Lots of Lashes Great Lash by Maybelline, and this just came out. It's brand new, and this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of dome shaped and it's very, very thin. And I absolutely love this because it gets your lashes completely, completely clump free and it really lengthens them and I feel it really separates them. Like no other mascara that I've ever used, at least not a drugstore mascara. Um, and I believe this was around $3 and change and I got it in very black and I really love it. I've only been using it for about a week now but I really feel that it separates amazingly and it really doesn't clump and it also gives really good length. I don't know if you could really tell today, but I usually um, just use a regular drugstore mascara, but I've never found anything that doesn't clump quite like this. And for only $3 and change, it's absolutely worth it. The next item is the Bare Minerals and this is the Translucent Mineral Veil. And it does, has, it does have SPF 15, and this is what it looks like. It's just a solid powder, and it also has a mirror. And I like to use it with the, um, the Angled Handy Bookie Brush, which actually was part of a holiday brush set. And I just take it, tap a little bit on. I mean, as you can see, that's, that's kind of a lot. And then I just like to do it in my chin area, my nose area and up here in my forehead. It's just the areas where I get oily and it blots it out. It doesn't make my face look white or chalky and I absolutely love that. And all the links to all the products that I'm using are in the down bar so if you guys want prices or where I got them or anything like that. The next item is the Shady Lady by The Balm and this is in Luscious Lani and it's a shadow. Looks like this. And I got this shadow in my January glam bag and it looks like this and I know it's kind of light but it's really pretty and it's got a little bit of a sheen frost to it um, and I actually am wearing it today um, I know the lighting's really horrible and I apologize I'm trying to work on that um, but I, I use this on a daily basis to do just a natural eye look so I'm loving that the other thing that I like to pair with my natural eye look is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is the 24 hour eye shadow and looks like this. And I use it in the color um, Bad to the Bronze. I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And it's just this really pretty creamy bronzy color. Um, I'll just do a little swatch because this stuff is like really super, super pigmented. And it looks like that. And it's actually next to the Luscious Lani. 
Well, this is Luscious Lani, and then this is the Bad to the Bronze. Luscious Lani, you can see it's like a little bit of a shimmery shade, and then this is the Bad to the Bronze. And I love this. I actually use this on the outer corner as like a, a miniature smoky, I guess you could say. Like, it's, it's not real, real smoky look, but um, I like to use this on the outer corner, and then I like to do the Luscious Lani on like the inside and up on the top and everything. So I'm absolutely loving that. And that, I believe, was around uh, $5.50 at my local Walmart. Okay, those are all the beauty products. I will do my hair product next, which is by TG. It's called S Factor. And it's the Spun Satin. And it's a feather light styling souffle. And what it is, is it looks like this. It's just like a white, creamy souffle mixture. And what you do... It reminds me almost of Biolage products. If you like the smell of Biolage products, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But it's really light, and it's it's very, like, very, very light. Like, I'll show you. It's not tacky, not sticky, and it's like a souffle mousse. And basically what you do is you can piece it, and you can rub it through your hair, and actually it'll get all the flyaways, and it'll take them away. Like, you just take a little bit of amount there, rub it through your your fit hands and stuff and you can just piece out your hair and I like to use it to just like you know tossle my hair a little bit and kind of like get the flyaways and things and it just smooths it out and things like that and like I said it's not sticky it's not tacky it's awesome and this I actually have um, a cosmetology license so I got this at a discount but I'll put all the links down below of how much it goes for Okay, the last two things are the lip product of the month and the handbag of the month. My lip product this month actually came to me as a gift from a friend that works at Sephora. It was a Sephora birthday gift, and it's the Fresh Sugared, um, the sugar Mini Sugar Lip Treatment, and this was free. I actually have the two. I like the lip treatment in the SPF 15. It's just the regular, the regular one. And it comes in a mini tube, and it looks like this, and it's clear, and it smells like I said before, it smells like sugar, sugar candied lemon or whatever. And um, this actually, I know they have a full size, and I think it retails for around $20. It came in this little box, and it also came with the, um, the rose colored one. I like the rose colored one, but it's not my favorite. I think my lips are too... Um, pale and when I put it on I feel like my lips are too red and they just look way too pigmented but that is my favorite lip product of the month and as I said before it does have SPF 15 in it so it makes it extra special and finally my handbag of the month as some of you know that have watched some of my other videos my favorite handbag just came in the mail oh probably a couple of days to a week ago actually it's been two weeks now I've had it almost three no it was three weeks yesterday sorry I've had the bag for three weeks. It is my Louis Vuitton Never Fool MM in monogram. And it looks like this. And I absolutely love this bag. I did a video on um, an updated what's in my purse. So if you guys want to see that, I'll link it down below. Um, so for those of you who don't watch my other videos, I do have what's in my purse, what kind of junk I carry around and things like that. Um, the bag I actually got from the Louis Vuitton store in um, a store near me, but um, it was shipped to me um, from the store because they didn't have it in stock. But um, anyway, um, the purse itself was, I believe, $840 or $850. I do have the links to it in my What's in My Purse video. Um, so if you guys need to know prices and things like that, it's also available at LouisVuitton.com. So if you're interested. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a great January. I hope you guys are staying warm where you're at. And I hope that some of your beauty favorites are kind of similar to mine. And hopefully you guys got some good ideas. And feel free to leave me some good ideas of what you guys use in the month of January down below. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.